For a new and different perspective every week on LEGO sets, news, media, and more, you're listening to the BCC Podcast. It is Wednesday, April 14th of 2021, and you're listening to episode 259 of the BCC Podcast. I'm LQ. Joining me today is Leo. Hello there. Luris. And Ford. Good evening, everybody. And today, we are going to be discussing the new AFAL, or I'm not sure if it's called AFAL this time, just Brickling Designer Program for 2021. There are some interesting submissions going on here, all based on previous 10K Club projects from LEGO Ideas that were rejected. So we will actually see a chance for some of these to become sets. So basically, how the AFAL Designer program works, they get a bunch of sets from people. I believe originally it was only in uh, Studio. This year it seems to be physical models as well. And last year they had up to 20 finalists selected after they reviewed all the projects. And then they are crowdfunded and released. I don't know how many they're doing this year. I have looked all over for that information, but I was not able to find it before the podcast. So if anyone knows, please feel free to comment there. Uh, I have read that the crowdfunding goal has to be like 3,000 or 2,000 or something like that, but I can't seem to find it on the page itself. I yeah, guess we'll I'm just see. Not uh, that yet. The crowdfunding's coming up in a couple of months here, and there's a few of them I'm sure will get crowdfunded, and we'll see them in a moment here. We're just going to go through all of them. They are things we've talked about before since these are all rejected LEGO Ideas projects. So it's, it's sort of like a best of the best of the best of the worst didn't make it (laughs) yeah so it is interesting that they are willing to release them this way but i like this model i like the crowdfunding model that you know find out how people want to buy something before releasing it and deciding how it's limited i did not even notice the a fall designer program last year and i was not the only one apparently a lot of people didn't even realize it was going down but this year seems to be getting a lot more press. Well, what did they do with it last year? Did they actually, like, release anything? Yeah. Didn't you see? Just Too Good has been collecting the sets lately, and he's been getting them for, like, an exorbitant <laughs> upcharge. They did, um... Mm-hmm. Was it, like, some kind of Western thing or something like that last year? I know at least there was a Western thing, like a saloon yeah. and a castle. Okay, that's what I was thinking of, yeah. Saloon. So pretty basic like stuff. Modular, They're pretty b- good sets, though, actually. And we haven't had a Western set since Lone Ranger, so... <laughs> because that's the thing, like, these sets, they're not, like... They're not, sh- like, restricted by LEGO's quality standards or anything. I mean, they, uh, yeah, like, they, they are. Have, like, the same that's what they're going through now, like, is... It... They can do a lot more with it, I think. It's just a matter of, like, how much people are willing to pay. So, I have no idea which of these are actually going to get to the crowdfunding call. I'm hoping the best ones do, but we will see. I hope Anatomy Mini does. Um, Bionicle. We'll get to those. <laughs> so, I'm just going to share the screen here as I'm doing now. I've noticed a lot of people actually like this format as opposed to the still images, so we're going to stick with it for this episode. And go ahead and talk about these projects. All right, starting out here with Space Troopers. Let's go, Space Troopers. Da, 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 are they Space Marines? I don't ah. think this is based on... I, none of these seem to be based Brand on previous brothers. property. Space Marines. Yeah. Today, now, the enemy is these things are cool. Yeah, I, I do like the little mechs. 
you know, that, that can supposedly fit a minifigure inside. I think they you haven't could done that yet. Modify them to be Among Us. No. Among Us. I do get, get strong Among here. Us vibes from this. <laughs> no. Also, Among Us gets too much hate. It's actually a well made game. <laughs> it is a well made game. But it's become, like, just too publicly criticized for no reason, and I feel really bad for it at this point. It doesn't Boring deserve to be in the same stats as Fortnite. Among Us. That's why. As it's far as I know, Among Us has never tried to sell your data to China, unlike Fortnite. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> and also, Among Us was made by the same guys who made Henry Stickman, apparently, or at least one of them. But Puffballs United made them. Oh, interesting. <laughs> So. I would love to see more shots of the interior of the spaceship. We have this one. It does look a lot like Among Us. Yeah. Interestingly, they don't show any minifigures in this, but I assume there must I be. Think, um, there have to be. I, think I was reading about this before. Um, I think they're tr still trying to get the minifigures to like to work. I like to print work their own out. minifigures. Yeah, like, like trying to print them and like make them look mm. proper. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of customs that they could reach out to for uh, advice on that. Yeah, I think that's what they're probably going to end up doing. Because um, they probably want custom like special games. prints and all that, so they don't have yeah. to worry about that kind of thing. But getting those prints can be a bit of a hassle, I would th I would think, anyway. Uh, but I am curious to see where this goes, but I, I want to see a price first. Because I like it, but... These are going to be think, expensive. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like... And I'll actually I want to see the price. go I'm in really, on a few of them. One thing that I'm just kind of like weary about with all these projects is, are they going to charge a premium price? Yeah. Yes. That's what I was worried about. Because they're fan. <laughs> fan material. Because yeah. like something that could cost like $100 could now be like $150 to $200. That's... <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that just yet. For some of these, I'm willing to pay that. Yeah. For this one... I guess, like, well, I like the mechs. I'm not a huge fan of the ship. I mean, as long as it's high quality, I'll do it for certain sets that I like. Mm. But, you know, if it's... I I hate to say it, but because I do like this, but if I need to get one set, then one set it uh, is. Junkbot asks, are they allowed to have prints? I thought they had to use stickers. I am uncertain. I don't know. It is possible that they have to use stickers. Yeah. I I honestly don't have an answer for you there. I wish I did. But so yeah, this one's not my favorite. If it was just the mechs, honestly I'd be way more into it. I mean but, that could be a project all on its own, but it's it's still like part of this umbrella, so they mm -hmm. can't really I guess they can't really just separate it out. Next up is the Lego Store modular version. Not really my thing, yeah. to be honest. What does the gear system really do? It's just a decoration. Okay, so it doesn't really make sense with Lego Store. I'm guessing there must be a Lego Store that has that. Probably. I've never seen a Lego Store with it, but... Um, let's see. I built one based on the concept of a standalone Lego Store that's about to open after a long period of renovations in an old building in New York. So maybe that has something to do with it. Sorry, I needed something to drink. <laughs> All right, but yeah, I'm guessing it's based off of that one. I don't, I'm just not really feeling this one, to be honest. I mean, it looks well designed enough, but it doesn't really call to me for the price that it would need to be. Yeah, I mean, like Lego stores are pretty uh, packed, and this one yep. looks a little barren to me. I think. I mean, I don't know. I, don't I know. like I've it. I've been to Lego like... stores that aren't the most packed. It just yeah. does depend on time, availability, season, yeah. that sort of thing. I mean, like, I like it, but I don't yeah. love the, it. The, the exterior is great. Uh, but... Sombrero Man says the Lego New York store does not look like that. Okay, then I think it's just based <laughs> this person has in their head. Yeah. And there's Which nothing is... wrong with that. It looks nice, you know. But I'm not really sure I want this set. I just choose one. Of course, you can I think every multiple. Yeah. Is what I want. 
Yeah. Um, so next up, the Clockwork Aquarium. Honestly, why? This is nice. I would get this one depending on the price. Like, it's really hard to tell. And it even gives you options. Very nice. Fish, the fish swim. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like of all the ideas, you don't have to choose just one. That's fair. Yeah. But... Look, it has You've a got, modular like, design. It even has a this cabinet food. underneath. Yeah. So you can fix the gear system if it ever gets jammed or whatever. It's got all kinds of different options. I love it. I don't think it's a gear system. It's the same conveyor belt like in Ninjago City. Oh, the sushi mean. belt. Huh. Same Ironic. difference. Are you from multiple <laughs> themes and backgrounds? But yeah, this one's fine. It really depend if it's under 50, I might consider supporting it. Though I don't know where I'd put it if I did get it, so... I mean, it doesn't look that big either. It so. doesn't. So it's nice to see something smaller. Hang on, what, what are the dimensions here like? Lego dimensions. So it's like a 18 wide. So it's not that big. No. So next that? is right. one that's kind of infamous. Uh, the Anatomini, which apparently Leo likes. <laughs> Just because it's cosmic horror. I have evolved version 3.0. I've never, <laughs> people who have listened for a long time may recall, I've never really been a fan of this. Ew, it, it has is, intestines. Ew. I, it is basically John Carpenter's the minifigure. It's got a brain. Ugh. Why doesn't it look like a Lego skeleton? It doesn't make sense. We know what they look like. Just add guts. Wow, it looks like he's already got a working model. Yeah, I think at this stage you kind of have to. Oh, jeez, it's got a whole like nervous system and everything. Mm -hmm. oh, I, don't, I don't like this. It has this. a brain. Brain! This is a lot of brain. Destroy the brain! <laughs> Just, I have a hard time imagining this being a set, but I do know a lot of people have liked this, so it has a fair chance. Take out I mean, the skeleton to do research on the patient. I mean, you'd at least have, like, two very large sort of minifigures made out of bricks. So I guess the novelty is there. But it just freaks me out, man. This looks like a dissection. That's <laughs> what it is. It's not a dissection, it's a bisection. So. Literally, right down the middle. I like how it's like pointing out, oh, this is what everything is, but it's just the same bricks. There's no discerning characteristics. Well, if it's what people want, good for them. Oh, jeez, it's got... It's got eardrums and everything. It's this is freaky, man. Me. However, this <laughs> next one, which I believe the link to this one was broken earlier. Yep, it is still broken now, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Rip. The, the Temple of Kermit? Yes. I'm going to... <laughs> this one I would totally support. I'd be willing to pay a good chunk of money for this. I hope... <laughs> to frog here. I, uh, I have my own uh, temple for samurai. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> no, I recall this one Lego Ideas. I really, really like this one. I love the architecture there. Obviously a bigger, more expensive build. Just when I'm to willing to support. I love the colors. Dark red, dark green. Yeah, I really, really want this one. I hope it gets to the crowdfunding stage because I will fund it. Oh, the next one is also broken. Yes, I think I checked them all earlier and those are the only two. Old Japanese style architecture. It's all right. But honestly, I like the temple much better. <laughs> Just give him the choice Something between the two of them. Here. I have no idea what you just said. Bricklink seems to have a vendetta against these Japanese buildings. Oh. I don't know if them work. I don't know what's up with it. I don't know if they ever worked, actually. Because I... I mean, it could just be that they don't have, like... No, because they don't pop up for a moment when I go to them here. Yeah. And then it goes I away. Know. I don't know why. But... 
from what I can see here, I wish I could see more, and I wish I could see the inside of the Temple of Hermit as well, but it's okay. Honestly, I'm not incredibly impressed with this one. I mean, I wish I could see more of it. I do like those steps. I do, too. Mm -hmm. Ah, Leo, here's yours. <laughs> ah. Oh, look. Quest Builder. Not Quest Builder. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Venice. <laughs> see, this is a cool set, but it would be expensive. It would be. And all of these are going to be very expensive. They're talking three to five hundred. But for just a little slice of Venice, I think that is worth it. I don't. This is a really nice build. I would consider funding I this one. I would like to see well, interiors. Would you rather take a real trip to Venice or buy. Yeah, this one doesn't have anything in the. Uh, like of interiors or anything, so I'm not uh, sure if it has them. Is that, a, is that a gondola? Yes. Yeah, okay. What else would it be? I mean, what other names for boats can you think of off the top of your head? Canoe? Boat. Kayak? Yes. Canoe. It's a kayak. It's a. It's an Italian kayak. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, this is one I consider supporting. I like buildings, and I like things that have four sides, which is also a building. Not that I'm thinking getting Lego a lot. It just satisfies you. Yes. So, let's take a look at some of these. So he does have stuff listed for the inside. A library, music school, okay. gallery, an apartment. So. Oh, I see. Interesting. And then I, th I guess he's planning on having figures. Yeah, it's still undergoing That's changes to refine the design, so we'll see. Uh, now here's the other one for Leo. Quest Builder. <laughs> I thought you liked this one, Leo. I'm, I want to go to Venice. <laughs> <laughs> there are hardly enough skeletons in this. Well, I mean, there's a ton over there. And? Did I stutter? <laughs> there's a there's a month he can call you months. This was also one, if you recall, I wasn't a huge fan of, but I know a lot of other people liked it. What's that pink-haired woman? I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, I thought you liked this. Jeez. <laughs> no, no, it, it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Would you fund this talking? one, Leo? Eh, I don't know. It's I need money. Heroica, but He has Kai's hair figures. in gray, which has never existed. So Yeah. That's a problem. Then you could do an old Kai minifigure custom. I do like that you can sort of make it like, you know, stacked levels and stuff. That's cool. But, I don't know, it seems a little scatterbrained. Yeah, not one I would support, but it's fine. I think most of these are fine. Now, here's one I would support. The 1950s Diner. Yeah. There we go. This one is that the right size, and it's just great. That is a slick set. That car needs uh, it needs some work. <laughs> that car looks rough. I'm okay with it. I don't know. It looks a little too. Uh, That's fine. It's it looks just... chunky for all the wrong reasons. It's a bit thick on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. It's like 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 Mal said. It's fine, but. Uh, I mean, There's if something they there. would refine it, yeah, that'd be great, but it's yeah. supposed to be kind of just a side detail. It's not the main focus here. The interior of the diner is very nice. Yes, it yes. is. That's my next thing after four... <clears throat> Excuse me. After buildings with four walls, I like interiors. I <laughs> Which usually comes after four walls, so... <laughs> no, but I really like how this one looks. And I would definitely support it. I think it's not as good chance of making it as well. It's a very solid build. It looks very complete. Yeah, I like There's this. There's a jukebox. And a gas a pump. Box hero. I don't know. I think the car looks fine. It just looks too chunky. I don't know. But yeah, I definitely consider this one. If it gets yeah, this, the running. Yeah, this looks nice. 
uh, I like it. And next up, we have the Winter Shallot. Isn't it chalet? Chalet. Okay. A shallot is a vegetable. Yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, okay. If you guys don't... If, if you guys want the correct pronunciation of words, you shouldn't have me read them. This is a very nice set, but it reminds me a lot of the Winter Village sets we already get, so it doesn't feel as new and exciting as a lot of things. Yeah. That seem almost like Lego well made this already. I mean, it's bigger than what Lego would have made, and I do like the bedrooms and stuff there. And it's certainly nice. It just doesn't feel as exciting. I mean, it's just like a home in the winter for Christmas. Like a Christmas getaway sort of thing. Which is yeah. fine for what it's trying to be. But, I don't know. It doesn't seem like something I want to have like on my shelf year round. I'd rather have the home alone house. Yeah, like that that seems like it could be a one where it When are we gonna see that? I shouldn't that be not, it shouldn't be too long till oh, we see that, should we? Yeah, Unless they're like holding out so releases at they're Christmas. Gonna, yeah, they're probably gonna save it for like November or October or something like that. Though they're but, the way things are going, if people actually want to have it for Christmas, they should release it in July. Yeah. Oh, but I, I do like this it's just, I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Was that Leo? Hey, this is a comment taking us back to the diner, but Sombrero Man says that uh, they should use some of the Speed Champions techniques to slim down the car. Yes, yes. I um. I also wanted to say I do have um, that Ideas Hot Rod mm. car that came out, or not the Hot Rod the yeah the I saw car. that on your TV the, desk when I was there the yeah, other day. Yeah. Um, that would be a very good base to start with if you want to revamp the car. Um, cause it's not, it's not the eight wide, it's the six wide, but it's got enough space in the, in the seating for two and it's just, just right. So apparently this is currently in test building stats. I should have been checking the stats for the other ones, but so they're seeing if it actually hold up in real life. <laughs> yeah. All of them are kind of in that. Some of them are already, uh, let me check the diner again. What was that? Yeah, it was also in test building. Some of them were like in refinement stage still, I believe. Like, was it this one? Yeah, this one's still in digital modeling, so they might not even make it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you can actually uh, leave like comments and stuff on these like submissions. You yeah. can say if you like them or not, which I also put a like on the diner. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah. Next That's up, we nice have Castle like... in the Forest. Now. This is a very nice castle, don't get me wrong. But we have got... We did get a castle last year. It's pretty nice. So we can get another castle. With the blue people. I think they're placeholders. <laughs> no, they're, they're supposed to be blue. That's blue fine with people. Gotta have variations of the same theme. Maybe, like... Okay, it's not just a castle. It's just, like, an alien castle. And those are just, like, what they look like. It's like Avatar. They're placeholders. It does have four walls and an interior, so it get, has that going for it. Storage and everything. Nice little underground thing where you boots through. Mm -hmm. Rafts, I guess, in this case. Yeah, that's good. No idea. What is this thing? <laughs> what is what thing? from the ceiling. Is Could be a, a tapestry. It doesn't look like a tapestry. It looks more like a torture device. I mean, that could also be true. Leo, you're the expert on this type of stuff. What is it? <laughs> it is likely a torch. The, uh, I'm going to look at the... Um... I know what it is. It's Lego. This one is also in test building <laughs> stage. Um... The original submission had two squirrels. And this doesn't. Pah. It's not worth it. Bah. Lego doesn't have a squirrel element? I thought they did. Apparently it is Maybe. a part yeah, the, of the Squirrel is a major in character in Lego City Undercover. Yeah, it's it, it only exists in the video games. Which is a suggestion for like to create one, but you shouldn't be expecting to have one with Link Designer program. End quote. 
Leo, did you figure it out? I am trying to. I'm going to the picture on the website so I can look also, at it closer. This one, I like, it is very interesting. Yeah, this one's okay. okay. Not one I would so, get though. So there's a chain attached. Um, actually. Leo, will you do that? We're going to take a look at the train what? station. Might just be part of the portcullis, and that's just oh, leave arm from rolling up. This train station is really nice. It is. I wish Lego made more trains, and I would get more trains. Trains. Honestly, I don't know why they don't have like at least one train a year. Yeah, didn't they used to? They used to do more yeah. trains. Yeah, but like the last one we got was the Crocodile, which is an incredibly ugly train. I want a nice looking train. Like, uh, was it like the Sunset or something? The orange train that was released like a decade ago. You know what I'm talking about. You uh, also, yeah. That they, was a uh, nice train. That was a nice train. Um, so I, I think that was just part of the portcullis. I think as a, a mechanism so you could raise it. Okay. Ah, okay. Apparently this also contains kind of a, a tribute to... You're cutting out a lot for it. What was that? Apparently this includes a tribute to the ice cream somewhere the ice cream what ice cream cart what is wrong with my internet it's cutting out a lot a lot of cable connection wait yeah, i really like this one i like the glass dome the train is okay i mean actually the train is my least favorite part of it it could be better hot dogs sound really good right now why are they blue too like so they're placeholders <laughs> But I love that chandelier too. Yeah. This is one I may consider supporting. I have no idea, like, what would need to go into getting this one. It's in test the building. only issue I see that I don't. It, think oh, it's already three thousand parts. Wow, it would be I very don't think expensive. Those, I don't think those garage door pieces come in that like shade of clear. I believe I think they're more frosty. I believe they can do color, unique colors. Oh, they can? Because there is unique parts listed. Oh. 460 so unique saying, parts. So I, you're saying they could do the white Kai hair? Yeah, I think so. Though I don't think that mold exists anymore. Because hmm. Kai has not had that hair in a long time. I mean, you could always use the other Kai hair. That hair has come in white, I think. Or no, like, it? it's spring green. It has come in more colors than the original one. But anyway, I like the train station a lot. I think it'd be a great addition to like a modular building city as well. It just looks really nice. And I think that one deserves to be made. It's just, it's pretty big. So it might have a harder time reaching the crowdfunding goal. Yep. Mountain Windmill. This is one I always think it's Breath of the Wild when we look at it. <laughs> it does look like it, yeah. It could be. And I do like this. It's okay. Nice. Not one I'm particularly into, though. How many pieces is this one? I'd buy it if it were Breath of the Wild. Right oh, it's now, already 2,000 pieces. Yeah. It doesn't what? look that big for 2,000 pieces. It looks like it's got a lot, of, like of, a lot of smaller parts, though. Yeah, yeah but it's going to be at least $200, I would assume. Yeah. Something you could pair this up with, like the uh, the that forest castle, or whatever. yeah. Pretty interesting. I'm just not really into this one. Not it's not bad, just not my thing. So here's another one: the seasons and time calendar. I recall this one distinctly as well as not being my thing. It is very a very nice build, though. All the little extra season things add a lot of parts to it, though. Yeah. It's got, like, some holiday stuff, too. Birthdays, Christmas, Valentine's Day, Halloween, Easter, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sort of, maybe. I don't know. Interesting. Or no, that's just... This strange. one has less parts than I would think, actually. 1,405. Well, so far. As far as we know. I would hope that in the refinement process, they're trying to cut down on parts, not add more. 
Yeah. Ah, more, more. It's a nice novelty, though. I like I think it. It's cool. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's good. I just wouldn't buy it for myself. Yeah, that's the thing, though. We think it's cool, but we wouldn't acquire it for ourselves unless it was on the super cheap. Yeah, which it won't be. Um, modular construction site. I'm not excited by it at all. Again, very yeah. nice build. Part of the allure of the of you know modulars is that they are fully constructed. So having a modular that is only partway constructed is. I mean, I, think, I don't know. It just feels wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's a good thing. Like, okay, it sort of shows character more. Like you got a building right next to it, but then it's like, oh, there's a construction zone right there for a new building. Is this a cement modular. dispenser? That way it just, like, then yes. you can have another building right next to it, and it's just like, huh, that's interesting. <laughs> Add something to it, but, yeah, it's not something I'd be interested in, unless I had yeah. a ton of modular buildings to connect it with. I like the fine details, but I don't know. Oh boy, 4,249 parts. It's going to be like $1,000. <laughs> that, that's like getting up there some of the biggest Lego sets there are. <laughs> Can someone pull up like a list of like the highest part count in any Lego set? I mean, like the just top? as like, like as a litmus test, uh, you, you just bought the Gardens. Uh, gardens has about like 5,000 parts. Okay, and that's a very good part for piece ratio. Jink. It's not yeah. average. Now, this is the one a lot of people have probably been waiting for. The Legend of Bionicle. Yes! I can 100% guarantee you that if LEGO lets it pass on to the next phase, it will get crowdfunded. Yes! And I will be part of that crowdfunding. Yeah. Yes! yes! Yeah! Now, we I got will say, him to commit! I always said I'd get it. We got him, people! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Now, I will say, I don't like the newer version of Mataro. They don't have the minifigures anymore, which is a shame. Yeah, that sucks. But yeah. again, I don't know if they can't do printing or what. But I, I, I just don't like... I think it's just for that he doesn't have to waste so much time with printing. I mean, think about it. Like This is a lot easier than having to get all of those different unique prints, I would think. Well, he already had and them. I... Yeah. yeah. But having to get them like done on a massive scale... He doesn't have to do it. Yeah, it's just Lego would have to. Yeah, Lego is the one releasing these. Uh, Not the people who design them. But you also don't have to worry about all of the specialized... Or... Yeah, specialized molds, essentially. Like recolors, I mean. Well, there still are recolors here. Are they? That helmet is a recolor. I thought that came in gold. Not that I can recall recently. Maybe a long huh. time ago. I mean, look, all I really want are those two little robots, all right? <laughs> I want to do that scene. I just want that scene. See, really. those clearly look like prints, but I have no idea <laughs> again. Yeah, I mean, like, stickers or prints, like, I just want them. <laughs> Interesting. This have. one does not have a part count listed. No, I think he's still working on it. I think um, the last time I checked, he was working on building the model, like, you know, in physical form. Um, but yeah, I, I hope he can get this off the ground. Yeah, cause if it can get off the ground, it will be crowdfunded. I can guarantee that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was way too much hype about this set for it to not get crowdfunded now. All right. I just hope they don't set the uh, the crowdfund margin like so astronomically high. It'll make it. They can set it at literally anything, and it will make it. I can guarantee. Would it make that. it over ten thousand? Yeah. Ten thousand to crowdfund. There was ten thousand who supported it, so you'll get some yeah, of that runoff but... at least. Yeah, this isn't a huge set. I think there are definitely a few thousand people will pay a hundred dollars or more for this do we know if this is going to ship everywhere pretty sure most places okay 
okay because that that would significantly impact not by that much all these other countries they're way smaller than the u.s Mm. let's face it they're you're not losing a ton by cutting out the british market you're just not it's like the size of it's like cutting out arizona yeah just make sure you don't cut out that russian market because apparently they really like bionicle that's true I have no idea if it would, but America could fund this on its own. There will be people, literally, who just throw money at this to have it made. The American government will spend money to get this. <laughs> government. Petition our government, just write to it every day, all of us, daily. Like, instead of giving me a useless stimulus check, just give me this. <laughs> instead of giving me blood money, give me this. Instead of taking my taxes... Just pay for this. Instead of taking my grandfather's grandchildren's money. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I will support it. As long as Lego lets it happen, I think it will happen. I have complete faith that it will reach the crowdfunding goal. Well, I hope so. And here we have Pursuit of Flight. This is one I infamously said I am not interested in. Are you still not interested in it? Not in the least bit. Not that it's bad. I'm just not interested in it myself. I do have a little bit more interest in this now, uh, being that now I live in Ohio, and Ohio is Ah. where the right, uh, you know, took off. Ohio? So it's... No, yeah, Ohio North Carolina. Is North Kevin's Carolina. license plate has said that. Wait, I thought flight. Ohio was the birthplace of... No. It doesn't matter if they were born there or if they flew there. We were the first in flight in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that it also has a stop with camel. Got some uh, history with that one. And the Red Bear. Yeah. yeah. North Carolina. There we go. Yeah, it was North Carolina. If it's cheap, I might get it for my dad. Ohio invented Pittsburgh. That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> oh, yeah, again, it's a nice model, definitely. And I doubt it would be that horribly expensive. Look at the pe- It doesn't have a part- piece count either. Oh, he said it likely at 500 pieces total, so I would bet that, this would yeah. be 100 or less at most. I mean... There's no, like, there's not that many prints or stickers or anything like that. I suppose they're doing, like, minifig heads. That's about it. So. It wouldn't be too hard. We will see what happens. Ah, here's another one. Sheriff safe with combination lock. This is one I think is really cool, but I don't know that I'd get it. It is pretty cool. It's got a gun. It's got alcohol. It's It's got got ham and cheese. Handle and ham and cheese. Is there any... Yep, there's even dynamite to blow the safe. It's got electroplated gold. (laughs) Actually, I think that's... Actually, yeah, I think that is. So it's a working safe, though. Yes. Cool. I actually have some of those gold. No, and it comes with printed tiles. You can build a code. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's the mechanism there. That's clever. I like that. So it definitely is a very good build here. Let me, does he have a piece or, or a piece count? Oh, it's only five hundred and forty six parts for if that if they can get this under a hundred dollars, I would consider. You know, I, I will buy it, and I will put my my uh, most Trust damaging fund. financial secrets in there. <laughs> then we can just take off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> But what if I glue the pieces? Mm-hmm. I'll still just take off the roof with a crowbar. Arthur. But we no. need money. I thought it was actually a lot more pieces than that. I guess it's probably actually a bit smaller than I think of it just by looking at it from this viewpoint. It's really hard to figure out what the scale is. But no, I think that's a good, you know, piece count for it. So I might consider supporting that one. Hmm. Ah, the particle accelerator. I watched the Flash. <laughs> Leo, this—I uh, think you're more qualified to talk about this than me. 
Well, I remember talking about it when it was under review with y'all as well. Um, long, long Remind ago. Us, what does this do? So the particle accelerator. Uh, ooh, it looks like it has an actual... It's a working part. So it uses a spinning wheel to accelerate Lego balls around. Huh. It's a great way to illustrate the concept of... <laughs> <laughs> you know what it's... Ball around. You, you know what it doesn't do? What? shows how much they miss. <laughs> <laughs> Cause come on, it's it's hard to actually get head on collisions. Are you going to get this deflection most likely? Hmm. Is that all it does? Might just... just put a lot of particles in it at once then. Because these things are tiny. Exactly. So use a lot. They're they are elementary particles. They're they're basically points. How like, big is a real particle accelerator? So the Large Hadron Collider in CERN. Uh, borders. Uh, let me just look it up. Actually, LHC CERN. Facts and figures about the LHC. One hundred meters underground. <laughs> um, Is it dangerous? Well, there's probably a bunch of X-rays emitted, but that's why they have all the shielding for. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, so its circumference is 26,659 meters it has operating temperatures of 1.9 kelvin that's pretty cold so it does work huh it so does it work makes okay so the the number of turns per second it says are eleven thousand two hundred fifty two hundred forty five, and number of collisions per second are one billion. Huh. That's so they do pump, pump it full of particles, essentially. I'm smarter than you, Leo. You didn't think that was even possible, but I said, why not? Just I did put not more say it was possible. It. Yes, you did. You expressed doubt. <laughs> collisions does not mean head-on collision. It means it deflects. It either deflects or it collides, and the and the uh, probability of colliding is not all that great. So that's why you increase the number. Uh, one guy seems look, to have died in the look, video. Oh, I another. get. <laughs> will I get teleportation powers? No, you will be dead. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to see. Look in that original model; it shows a motor. I do not see a motor in this current model. I see a hand hmm. crank. Maybe. It's very different than what's in the video, so and for some reason, just... all Eric recommends got the laws in our video. Uh, <laughs> also, just the motor yourself. Yeah, but that's a lot of extra. Yeah, I have never gotten to Lego power functions at all. Every time I look, I'm like, that's a lot of money. <laughs> I'd rather have more Lego. I don't even know what to use them on. Now they've got like the. I've hardly even yeah. looked at the newer ones. Ford, it's easy. You you use them on your Lego Mars mission, Crystal Reaper. You mean the thing that I don't have? Oh, look, it's Buy science it. adventure with that gender ambiguous mini All figure. Right, so, so we've left actual science and we've gone on to pretend science. <laughs> yes, like Everybody zoology, knows. the pretend Art science of zoology. Is real science. Biology is, is fake. Zoology, archaeology. Archaeology is fake. Yes. Geology. Nobody actually Geology is also fake. Zoology. There is only physics. Is that piece real? Is that from like a friend set? Looks like a horse brush. Yes, it's a real piece. I have never seen it. Oh, what are you going to do? Brush off some gold pieces? They're gold. Just look at them. I'm pretty sure those coins don't exist anymore. No, I don't think they do. They're always weird, honestly. They were cool, but it's just like you they can't. can't hold them. Yeah, you can't hold them. Can't they? I thought if you held them on the sides. No, no, they're not thick enough. That's uh, why they can just use the stud, the flat tiles, circular tiles. Darn, I can't speak tonight. We already have a tiger mold now, so this is kind of obsolete. You know, if you think about it that way. Honestly, like, do you think this would even be crowdfunded at that point? Yeah. It, a lot of people like stuff like this, so maybe. I mean, they like the first one. 
And this only has like two hundred three parts. I mean, yeah, it'd be so, a nice, an easy one probably to meet the crowdfunding goal. So we will see. I'm very interested to see which ones can get. Oh, hey, look, it's that bird. Bird, whiteboard. It's oh, it's a cockpit. Oh. The bird. Does the cockapoo have, have a like hat. a very big following? There's also it has hats and a bow tie and a little baby one. I like hmm. this. That's an interesting design for the lake. 1,043 total parts. And that's a lot of parts for a bird. Remember the old Lego ideas, birds? Yeah. The ones that looked bad? What? They looked fine. Yeah. No, the looked ones that looked good. bad. No. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the actual set that was produced. Oh, no. I was thinking of something else. <laughs> what are you thinking of? I don't even know. So, birds. yeah, this is definitely not one I would get. I mean, if you're a big fan of this bird, go ahead and support it. Support <laughs> this bird. Great fishing boat. Now, I like boats, but I generally like more like sailboats. I don't think this would be something I'm particularly interested in, but I don't this know. This one's Some people might... French. Right, French? That is the French flag in the back, right? <laughs> well, I mean, yes. Okay. No, no, Wait, it's this not is just French. all white. Yeah if, this, yeah, if this is French, it should be a white flag. <laughs> exactly. Where are the... They don't have sails. You could have just cut those out and made the actual French flag if that was the case, but... Yeah. Stuck with this. Does the lobster exist? The lobster piece. Lobsters. Like, yeah, they yeah. they just had There's... the Lego Batman. <laughs> did the lobster and <laughs> plus Bless you. Oh, they did the lobster, oh, and I'm sure they've done more since. But yeah, they had the lobster element. Are the seagulls real? Well, I know they have the lobster element, but did they have a blue lobster element, like in this in the third picture here? third picture. I don't think they have the teal fish. This would have a lot of recolors. Yeah, 327 unique Is that parts just like a scorpion? No, it can't be. Uh, yeah, it is lobster. So, I don't know. Is it a rock lobster? Is it a stoned lobster? Bruh. Mm. Also, are those fish in like black. chrome silver? Yeah, this is a lot of vac metal. Yeah, it's like... Metal, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> no, but it's pretty cool-ish. But... Eh. It's not something I particularly really care about. <laughs> myself, but... Alright. Moving on, we have the Exploratorium. Which I guess is like a steampunk sort of modular city type of set so it's cool design but looks really big it's one of those idea sets yeah it's like i don't really know what else is going on one lab or is it like a whole, like process kind of structure like a jago city or something like that? i don't know i i didn't really get it when it was um yeah in, in review i feel I I feel like that's sort of a problem that people have. Yeah. Steampunk in general. It's like, there's so make, much going on. So they make it a bit too busy. Um, yeah. It's like, but, it's uh, I'm getting lost in all these details, literally. Metal Beard's ship was, I, I think, the, the ideal to shoot for when it comes to Lego Steampunk. Yeah, it uh, was refined I, enough. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was, uh, mostly because I think they fit most of the strangeness into the shape itself. This doesn't really look strange, so much it looks like just a cluttered normal building you might see in Europe. All right, so this is one I would support. I, I, I would the export time. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I like the Jules Verne colors. That is just like it looks very busy. <laughs> but That's the idea. The... It's steampunk. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't like it looking this busy. Oh, I do. In fact, I would like to look more busy. 
Why does that guy have lipstick? <laughs> oh man. And I do not I recognize like that spiky wait. Oh, that's the thing like from the mace from the Dragon Ball. I like how they use that poison ivy here as well. It's very nice. This would have a lot of recolors though. <laughs> yes, and that's what, part of what makes it so great. Yo, yeah, yes, I really like it. It's, it's big, and I don't know where I'd put it, but I would support uh, it. Oh, it would be expensive, though, too, but I... When you crowdfund something, if it doesn't reach the gold, do you get your money back? Probably. No. Leo? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, if you don't get your money back, then what's the point of crowdfunding it? If it doesn't... So know, that it, it succeeds. Like, where does that money you go? Better hope it, it succeeds. <laughs> No, so, I assume so you really get your money back. I've, I've actually never I, crowdfunded. I don't, I, I don't actually know, just to be clear. I, Speaking I don't of know. crowdfunding, whatever happened to Lego Forma? It died. died. That was weird. Why did it die? Because like those things got crowdfunded super fast. Well, I think it died because um, there was never a follow-up. Also, this piece here, wasn't that like an old also, Bionicle yeah. weapon? I, I yeah. think, like, if I recall, the shipping was like crazy on that. Anymore. Like, it was super delayed or something. Like that. Huh. I never yeah, really from, heard much. That, that piece is from the uh, 2006 sets, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. That would have to change. <laughs> that I mean, would indeed have to change. Very, you know, it's, it's subtle change, really. It's not very difficult to change that out. It does add a lot of detail, though. Yeah. Oh, I love the telescope, though. Look, it has little Ninjago things that are hardly ever used. I think those are oh, like yeah. bat wing helmet pieces. It's like little, little those things. gems. Oh, that looks so cool. And a submarine. So yeah, I will definitely get that one. Or support that one, that is. Retro Bowling <laughs> Alley. This one's alright. It's like... I like Bowling Alley aesthetic. It's like the 50s diner, only it's a bit... More. I like, yeah, I like the pastels. I do like the colors, but I like the '50s diner more. The diner and this would go so well next to each other. <laughs> I love this. I like it. It's a little bit too big for my taste, though. Do they say anything about the oh, piece count? It's appropriately sized. Yeah, it um, is appropriately sized, but for what it is, I don't know. I'm willing to pay as much as it would see, take. Two thousand four hundred fifty-eight total. So probably upwards of three hundred. Again, I really don't know what the pricing is going to be like for these. Yeah, it's very hard to say. I will say if 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 they want to price it high, it better have like like an automatic like clearing function for the end of the uh, end of the lanes. You know what I mean? There was a working bowling alley in Lego Ideas recently, wasn't there? Was this it? No, this definitely is not the working bowling alley. It, like, it better work if, if they're charging that much for it. If this one is not working. There's no place for the mechanism underneath it. it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Get the thing out of my face. Uh, Brickwest <laughs> Studios. This one was rejected well, very recently. Well, <laughs> this is an interesting one. Being a movie set of a western... Hmm. Now, I really like the saloon on its own, though it doesn't have four walls, so it doesn't quite meet my standards. Well, it's not oh. supposed to have that. Though you can make it have four oh, walls. Oh, you can? I didn't realize that. Nice. Okay, I like it a little bit better. Oh, it might actually just free still. Like... Oh, okay, I like this now. <laughs> the thing wow. is the movie props probably bump up the price quite a bit yeah so i'm thinking like why not just make it regular old western because they had that last year oh i can see the appeal of the film stuff as well i mean yeah but not if you can't actually film things with it, it says you can make 2983 cinema. pieces this would be perfect for orion I'm not sure. I'd be interested to see what he thinks. He can make cinema. <laughs> but yeah, this is something I would be interested to see what they're charging for it. With all the other ones I like, though, I doubt I would support it. 
Oh, there's this one from recently, too. The Ruined House. Yeah. It's not minifigure scale, so that takes it down a bit for me. But it is cool. Yeah, it's I have cool. no comments on this, really. <laughs> it's a... It's a it Will is you buy this, Leo? Banged up house. Yeah. It has a rat. I have enough trouble with rats as is. The rat you? from Avengers Endgame. <laughs> what? This has like one of the high C scouts too at 40,016. Or 40,016. Oh, it's siding and stuff. Jeez. So, it's alright. I think it's a good design. I don't know that it would get crowdfunded. And next up, we have the Working Waterfall. Working? Yes. It wow. requires a lot to make it work, too. Oh, my. My it goodness, there's a mine. Water. There's a mine shaft and everything. Into the mines! I really like the idea of this one. I like the execution. I don't know where it would fit in my collection, though. Yeah. It That is some really clever sculpting with the boulders, though. Yes, it is very well built. And wow. I like this a lot as a mock. I don't know that I would like as a set. Do they have a video? Yes, yeah. they do have a video. Yeah, I want to see how this works. Looks like it works by throwing studs down. Oh, that's the studs it? studs come back up. Oh, I thought there was a lot more to it than that. i be honest, I did too, though I think this is actually a bit more clever than Wait, how I thought it worked. Circulate? Is that what's going on here? It's what? Oh, it's a power functions thing. All right. More power! I'm not sure why it needs so much room underneath it in that case. It's the light lights. It seems like it requires a lot of space underneath and a lot of extra bricks to make that work. Yeah. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think I'd support it, but I like appreciate the effort. Neat little like sculpture, I guess. But, eh. It's like a nice thing to have at the office. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. like the bonsai tree. Only maybe have like a wind up thing. Order if you want. The observatory. Leo, this seems like your thing. Totally not a space laser. It is not a space laser. But it always looked like one. I mean, this is definitely well built. It doesn't particularly interest me yet again. Does it interest anyone? Oh, I, I like it, but uh, it's, yeah, it's nice, but it's not. I my cup of tea. I, I think I like the particle accelerator more. <laughs> <laughs> I like this better than the particle accelerator, just because it has more display value to me. Yeah. Also, Sombrero Man mentions for the waterfall. It would have to be an absolute torrent of studs falling for it to be worth it to me. I don't see why you couldn't do that. I mean, yeah, you could just, like, get the... Maybe. I'm not sure you'd jam it up after a certain point. Yeah, just get, like, Ninjago City something or uh, the, the ship in the bottle. There you go. You got pl plenty of blue... I mean, blue studs are not hard to get. You can get them. And you can get them in multiple different colors. I don't see anything on a part count for this one yet. But with that dome out as... I don't know that I like the dome that much. It is a little uh, rocky looking. Yeah. But it's all I'm sure right. they could. And last, we have this is old news now. So, this is the guy that made the old fishing hut. And if you recall, several of his projects did make the 10K club afterwards. They were all disqualified because apparently he sold them to a knockoff brand and they're not ah! producing them. Yeah. And they included the Boathouse Diner. Boat repair shop and the dive shop. Which is a shame because I would have supported uh, definitely the diner. And I'd maybe some of the others. But we'd have to coordinate which one we support. Though. <laughs> Excuse Can me. We tell oh, her from America that, you know, we, we love diners. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a certified scuba diver, right? I want the dive shop. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Leo can scuba dive and don't you know how to fly a plane? I do know how to fly a plane. I just don't know how to land one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why 
That's it's... why landing costs extra. <laughs> <laughs> On a so scale of 1 to 10, if we had to land a plane, how confident uh, are you? 50-50. Not even right. a little bit more than 50. I feel like I'm 50-50. <laughs> I'm have you landed a plane before? No, I've never even touched a plane. I have. It's difficult. And it's been like six years since I've done it. So you well, have done it. I would think if you've done it at least once, you should be a little bit more confident than 50-50. It's hard. <laughs> well, you better make it easy. Jeez. Or else you're never gonna, <laughs> you're never gonna get out of the. Can't you at least get up to like sixty percent confidence? I mean, if I, re if I refamiliarize myself. Let's say have, an airliner, having... like the pilot, was killed. If they gave okay. you instructions over the radio, would you be confident you could land it? Yes. Okay. Do you think anyone could do that? If they're given instructions. No. Okay. I think the B-movie is fake. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't they totally the fail at trying to land it in the B-movie? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. I wouldn't know. I've never seen it. You haven't seen the B-movie? No. I didn't, I have how have you not mentioned it. this? I have. I haven't seen oh. it either. What? It's a classic piece of Jerry Seinfeld's work. I still don't get the jokes surrounding it. <laughs> Years later. So apparently you do have an FEQ center, and I don't know why I didn't read these earlier. Okay, so up to 13 that are successfully crowd crowdfunded. That's quite a bit. Up to 5,000 of each set, which is not very many. Well, especially for the Bionicle one. Actually, I feel like I have to get on it fast to get one of those sets. There's definitely more than 5,000 people Wait, wait, so there. they'll only ship out 5,000? I don't know if I'm getting it, like vastly overestimating. Yeah, but they will only produce up to 5,000 of them. Boo. Boo. <laughs> So they do not intend to change the design. So the designers will be the only one changing it. So essentially, you're telling me... I know me there will be instructions. You're telling me on June They do 1st, not recommend them for children. Like, midnight, like, on the dot to get this. So 3,000 pre-orders is required to crowdfund. Yeah, Bionicle can make that. Yes. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but that's the thing. Like, they'll make 3,000, and then they have to make 2,000, and that's the cap. Yeah, so... When the June first, we gotta be on this. We wanted to get in on yeah, the ground we floor. All there. <laughs> and if it's anything like what happened with that Ulysses today, oh, it's like yeah. just gonna that, that's crash. That's exactly why I'm worried about it. It's like, how many scalpers do you think are gonna get in? Oh on no, I really worry about. They better be doing something. I assume you have to have a Bricklink account. And it's gonna be limited to one per person. I mean, it's not hard to make a Bricklink account. I know, but scalpers usually do it by buying, you know, like, multiple in one order. Bots, it takes yeah. a lot longer to go through each account. Then you don't know about scalper bots, my friend. I'm not sure it'll be prevalent enough for scalper bots. I don't know. Have you, um... <laughs> yeah, um, Games Workshop has a fun time with scalper bots. And... I feel like this will be smaller than a uh, Games Workshop thing. It's not mainstream, even it, for LEGO. Yeah. I mean, Walmart and Target also have scalper bots, as well as, I think, Amazon. Oh, no, you can pre-order up to five sets per each project. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. All so right, here's what we should do. So, yeah, now the question is, isn't Will Bionicle get enough? It's, will there be enough <laughs> for us to get one? Here's what we do. We all pull our money, all right? We each order as many of these things as, I, as we can. And All right. And whoever the gets the most will distribute it to every other person. Okay, every <laughs> every single set which goes past the test building requirements will be listed for crowdfunding. And then 13 of them. And I guarantee you Bionicle will be the first one to reach its goal. I hope yeah. so. Leo, like, I don't think you have to hope. It's going to. It's whether or you not we get one is going to be the problem. <laughs> Or yeah, free go up and get this thing. I hope I don't eat my words and then it like struggles to get up there, but it's I just... well, it's not like 
the amount of hype this thing yeah, got. If you think not... about it, like how there are ten thousand people explore the ideas project, and I'm sure most of them were pretty diehard Bionicle fans. Yeah, I mean, it, it reached. They don't have like NASA happened. on their side like other sets. <laughs> yeah, it is nice that there's no NASA sets in here <laughs> because they were all accepted for the initial. But... And it also you have to have like a license or something like that. So um, they'll ship to USA, Canada, Mexico, UK, Germany, Belgium, Italy, France, Spain, Denmark, Poland, Sweden, Netherlands, Norway, Hungary, Finland, Switzerland, Austria, Portugal, Slovenia, Ireland, Slovakia, Czechia, Czechia, Czechia. Oh, is it, you Luxembourg, know some countries. Latvia, every country. Sort of Greece. It doesn't look like Russia. Hmm. That's a problem. No, because we don't need their help we need the sets <laughs> well sorry russia <laughs> lowest possible shipping and yeah they'll be manufactured wait, in september wait, are they are they keeping it oh from so russia we can still so get this set by the end of bionicle's 20th anniversary too yeah mm. yeah so so here's the thing are they keeping bionicle away from russia so that they don't have to deal with the russian bot it probably has more to do with distribution. <laughs> I'm kidding. Russia, I throw no shit. I have bought Bricklink orders from Russia, though. Yeah, so have I. I just got one today for Ninjago City Docks. Where's that from Belarus? Yeah, and the sets will be produced directly by Lego. Okay. I don't know why I didn't read that page earlier, but that is interesting. I'm, I'm worried I'm not going to be able to get one of the Bionicle sets. I don't know, maybe I just have no perspective of, like, how many people would support it. I forget if it does anything. It doesn't have anything on price, or to pe or not price to piece, but it's just piece count. But I can't imagine it'd be more than 200. And I think most Bionicle fans are very much prepared for that. I hope. I know a lot of them are jobless deadbeats, but I mean, <laughs> I'm kidding I'll for the see. most part. Actually, most Bionicle fans are so successful now that they're not on the internet complaining about it. It's just a yeah. few of them that are out there like that. <laughs> are we those few people? No, I have a yeah. job. I was thinking of making a Venn diagram of like the in different categories of our members. Like one of them is people who ha are on cr track for a successful career, and one of them that's not. Three out of the six of those people are here. Wait, where, where's the intersection? So you have success. There's another. And... It, there's another category that I can't say over air. Ah. <laughs> Once I complete <laughs> this, then I will reveal it. <laughs> but okay. But no, look, three out of the six people who are on track for a successful career are here, <laughs> and Kevin is here also. <laughs> Dang. That's shitty. <laughs> are you gonna take that just sitting down? So I'm sitting. <laughs> but anyway, uh -oh. I want to get one of these. I will have to stay up till midnight, and I will expect Lego to let me down and have the site crash. Like the government. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Alright, but that's all of the sets out there, and that's going to do it for us today. Now, be sure... To leave a comment, what sets you'd like to support? Do you even have the money to support all of them? Because I know not everyone's going to have the money to support all of these. It's just going to depend at where you're at. I have spent a ton of money on Lego this year, so I might as well not stop at this point. I, I need to let some checks come stop. in before I buy anything. Well, you have two months. Yeah. So there should be plenty of time. If you're planning on just supporting one of these, I'd say save like get at least two hundred dollars to four hundred dollars set aside in i don't think for most of you you're gonna be spending that much just in case and though i recently you know I got, I got paid again so i thought like hey maybe i'll try and get a diagonally after all. I, I think i've got enough vip points to get a hundred dollars off but then this happened <laughs> <laughs> this entered my like you know my my brain waves and i'm like bionicle <laughs> yeah the bionicle, bionicle i'd say if you're just trying to get the bionicle one 
have 200 set aside just in case. I doubt oh, it will be that much. Harry Potter, you know, is a big thing in my family growing up, but like Bionicle is my uh, thing, baby. My thing. It, it's going to be <laughs> a very much rare collectible for Bionicle. Probably one of the rarest. Must have. Going down because of the limited production. It, I'm very worried now. If, I want to get some other people's opinions. Do you think that it will be an issue getting a hold of one of these sets? Definitely. Please leave a comment below. Not you, Ford. <laughs> also, be sure to like, share the video, and share it with your friends as well. Join the Discord server and talk about all the latest LEGO news there, as well as video games. Planning to do a Halo game night soon. So if you want to join us for Halo Reach at some point, be sure to join the server for more updates. And... For Ford, Leo, Maluris, and myself, LQ, we thank you for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye,